Hey, what's up, Walter here, and I have a new and improved tutorial on how to slice up your comics for Webtoon. All right, so you can slice your comics for Webtoons using Photoshop or GIMP, but if you have Photoshop, I would suggest using Photoshop over GIMP uh, just because it's gonna be easier uh, out of the box. All right, so you finished your Webtoon comic. It's beautiful, it's glorious. You're ready to upload it to Webtoon. And then you realize that Webtoon has a size restriction of 800 pixels by 1280 pixels. And of course, your Webtoon comic is way bigger than that. Um, so so we're going to show you this example, which is 800 pixels by 10,000 pixels. Uh, and you'll also notice that the DPI is 72 DPI. Now, when you're working on your comic, you're probably going to want that resolution way higher, like 300 DPI, just in case you ever decide you want to print it um, and sell it uh, physically, whatever that is. Um, but we're, we're dealing with digital, so when you have your huge file, you might want to drop it down first to 72 DPI, save it as a copy so that you can work it in there. There's no reason to upload a 300 DPI file to Webtoon. It's just gonna make the file a lot larger and it's not gonna make a difference on a screen. So this is the file we have. And the next step we need to do is we need to slice this image into smaller chunks. So the way we do that is with Photoshop's slice tool. Now, in this example, we have 800 by 10,000, but there's a case that your file could be way larger. Uh, this comic right here is my comic Hacksaw that's on Webtoon. And you can see here the image size is 800 by 44,000, way, way bigger than 10,000. Now this is only something that's gonna happen in Photoshop because Photoshop allows these huge long files, um, but JPEGs can only go up to 30,000 pixels. So in this case, when we have an extra long comic like this, we need to split it in half in this case uh, and then save it out to two separate JPEG files. And then we're gonna repeat the process I show you on both of those files. Now, if your file was like, say, 800 by 90,000 pixels, you would have to split it into three first, save it as three JPEGs, and then repeat the process across all three of those JPEGs. So the first thing we wanna do here is we take our slice tool, and this is under the crop tool. So just hold down on the crop tool, and you'll see select slice. So we're gonna grab that select slice tool, go over to the thing, and now you'll notice on the image, there's a slice number on that, and it should be set to number one because we haven't sliced anything yet. So we take our select slice tool, right click on the, the slice number, and then say divide slice. So we kick, click on divide slice, and then we're gonna wanna divide my file into two. Now if you had 90,000, like I said, you would divide it into three. Uh, now that you have the file divided into two slices, we need to select each slice and save it as its own JPEG. So just click on the slice number, you'll see it selects the slice, and then you wanna do a Control C to copy, and then a Control N to open a new file. All the dimensions will be correct. Uh, and then do a Control V to paste. And then we go back to our original image, select the second slice, and do the same thing all over again. Then you save those two files as a JPEG, and now we get into the meat of the process. You would just have to repeat this on both of those JPEGs you created. Okay, so now we're back to my comic. Um, we wanna get this sliced up, and so we know my comic is 800 by 10,000 pixels, so we're gonna slice this bad boy into 10 slices and get it down to 800 by 1,000 for each of the slices. So we select our Select Slice tool again, we go up to the slice number, right click, divide slice, and we're gonna divide it into 10 slices to get us to 1,000 pixels tall for each slice. All right, so now that we have our slices there, uh, we don't wanna have to click on this, control copy, control paste, um, in 10 different files, like that would get annoying, right? Uh, there's a quicker way to do it. So what you wanna do is go to File, uh, Save for Web and Devices. Now you're gonna get a message here saying that the file's too large. Just ignore that, there's a potential that Photoshop might crash. Uh, so make sure all of your files are saved before you start doing this. Now, once you're in this uh, save for web and devices, you wanna save it as a JPEG. 
um, and you'll notice here at the bottom it's showing it's saying it's going to be like 600 pixels wide which is wrong we want 800 pixels wide for some reason Photoshop wants to shrink the image down uh, you can't change it here just ignore it I don't know why Photoshop does this it's a weird buggy thing uh, just ignore it when you save it's going to be 800 pixels so just click save and then you'll come up with the save window make sure you save in the directory that you want to save and then you'll see it says all slices at the bottom make sure it says all slices and then just hit save now if you go to the directory where you saved it you'll see there's a new folder in there that says images now all 10 of our slices are going to be in there boom we're good to go everything looks good you'll see that the images get sliced right down the middle of the artwork we don't need to worry about that so now we go over to webtoon we go into our comic and we say add episode so we're going to type in all of the important information and then we're going to add the images and then we go to where our images are we select all of them and then just click open now that's going to upload all the files that we need in there uh, enter the creator's note etc and then just hit uh, publish and that's going to publish the comic go into the comic and there you can see it in all of its scrollable glory uh, all the artwork looks good everything looks fine and that's it. Your comic's up on Webtoon. Bye.